Hey again, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing an everyday makeup routine for college. I'm a freshman at Arizona State University. If you didn't know, I feel like all my videos are college videos. I thought it'd be fun to just show you, like, you know, my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup every day. Most of the time, I go to class looking like this. Or worse than this, like actually most time work. Like this is like a step up. My skin's not doing well. I don't do well under stress. Your girl's been stressing, so it's getting worse. That's great. But yeah, most of the time I do not wear makeup, but if I do wear makeup, this is what I wear, so I thought I would just show you guys. So no matter if I'm wearing makeup or not, I always start off with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. This is just the moisturizer I use. I take two pumps of this, and I have a mirror here, so I'm like looking. Not, not a good angle right there. But I'll just put this all over my face. I have like dried combo skin, so I really need moisturizer or else my skin hates me. It already isn't thriving, so can I bring my mirror in the frame? Would you get mad at me? I'm like so blind that I'm like squinting. I'm like, what do I look like? Someone texted me like a little bit ago and they're like, I have bad news, and now they're not telling me what the bad news is, and now I'm like scared. So for foundation, I normally use the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. This used to be super light for me and now it's like way too dark. I've gotten so pale. So this is in the shade Natural Ivory and it's almost gone so I always struggle. So I normally try to pump. Oh! Normally it takes like a minute to pump something out. Proud of it. So I'll just take my fingertips and then I just kind of like dab it onto my skin. I normally try to focus in areas that have um, trouble spots. Also known as my entire face. I'm just like roasting myself this entire video. I'm sorry. I'll be nicer to myself. I'm pretty. I'm gorgeous. I love myself. Mm. So depending on how lazy I'm feeling, I'll either use my beauty blender, which I just got it and it like already ripped. Do you see the rip? Or I'll use my Morphe M439 brush. I normally use this if I'm feeling lazier because like dampening the beauty blender really annoys me. It takes a lot out of me to like get up, go to my sink, put it under the water, then like rip in the ears. It's a whole process depending on how lazy I'm feeling. Not feeling that lazy today. My arm also really hurts because I was like carrying a box today like two hours ago and that's probably the most like lifting I've done this entire year. You can like hold my arm while I do it. But I literally just like punch my face with the beauty blender and like that's all I do. Do you see that coverage? I mean, that wasn't the bad side, but oh girl. I just got the bad news text. I knew it. Now I'm mad. <laughs> and as you can see, it doesn't necessarily match my neck. It's not my shade. My nose is like running right now. Do you know when your nose runs when you're doing foundation and you're like, really? I feel like I've been sick every single day since college has started and that's cute. For my under eye concealer, normally I will use the Maybelline Age Your Eye Concealer, but I actually just ran out of that. So I have the Naked Skin Concealer in my makeup collection, so that's what I've been just using because I'm too lazy to go buy another one of the Age Wine. I normally just do like a teeny, that's not a teeny, enough to cover up my dark circles that are darker than my soul. I don't sleep very often. I'm always stressed. I feel like this is just a video of me explaining how much of a wreck I am, but like I'm thriving at the same time, so don't worry about me. Like I'm doing a Great. As great as you can be while being a poor struggling college student. I'll use the Boing concealer by Benefit to just conceal any of the spots that like aren't covering. That's always like a lot of them, but right now I'm flipping off the camera. I'm so sorry. I always forget to like cover this section right here with foundation. No, that didn't help. So for powder, I normally switch between the peach powder from Too Faced or the Cody Airspun. I'm not filming in my dorm room right now and this one was smaller, so that's why I have this one. <gasps> I didn't bring the brush. So normally I start off taking the powder under my eyes and like on the center of my face <laughs> so this powder smells and tastes like gross peaches like it's not appetizing in my personal taste like some people really like it but I don't and I just got a like whole meal out of that little powdering session right there hmm so gross oh my god don't recommend I can still taste it so normally I have a big like fluffy powder brush and I just kind of like briefly like set the outside of my face that I didn't set with the beauty blender I forgot it so we're just gonna Use the beauty blender. I can really see that foundation line. She pretty. Let me know down below, does the feeling of foundation like annoy you guys? Cause it really annoys me. And so like, I feel like I always go overboard on powders cause I don't want to feel it. Now bronzer, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I like the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, but um, I dropped it and um, she shattered. So we're using this one. This one smells like chocolate. Mm -hmm. It tastes like chocolate too, but I'm not gonna lick it. So when I was coming here, I wasn't planning on like filming this video. It's kind of like prom to. So I don't have all the brushes I normally use. I packed the stuff that fit easily in my travel makeup thing. I have this brush. I just hit my, I bought my nose with it. It does, like I use it. I switch between like three bronzer brushes. This is one of them. And I normally will just do the outsides of my face. 
this brush every time i use it on camera it just doesn't go well and i'm always like whenever i do bronzer i like wipe off the foundation that's like on my acne right there so that's that's cute my forehead she looks like china she big love it I don't have the brush that I blend with it. That big powder brush that I use to like powder my face, I normally blend with that too, but I don't have that today. Or my blending brush. What about this one? This one, I normally will like, you know, do like a little that action, like powder, but we could blend. What happened to my hair? Blush is like, um, if I'm feeling like, fancy bougie kind of thing so this is the um amazonian clay 24 hour blush and party i actually do use this brush blush brush blush brush this one's from sigma throwback to sigma and i normally like, this is like a really like not super pink color it looks really pink on camera it's not as pink in real life i promise for a highlighter, I normally use the Maybelline Master Chrome in like Molten Rose Gold, but um, she's gone. She like literally died. I used her so much. And then I also have like this NYX like palette that my big gave me in our big little baskets that I've been using a lot. But that was like a big palette, so I didn't feel like bringing it here. And like I said, I wasn't planning on filming this video. So this is like another one of my go-tos if I'm going for like a really super bright highlight. This is Stila Kitten. Actually an eyeshadow, but I like it for highlighter because it's like... It's like a flashlight, like you can see it from space. And I actually love this brush, even though it's like super... Can you see how much... I don't want to focus it, but do you see how much of a mess this brush is? Yikes, she's damaged. Like me. Just kidding. I'm kidding. So I'll like put it on the high points of my face. I always put a lot on my nose. I just... That, that is a lot. That is a lot. And maybe like a little like forehead action. And um, I do want to put more on, but I shouldn't. We're almost done. So now I'll brush out my brows. I'm using this like brow pencil from Benefit because I love Benefit. And this is the Cobrow by Benefit. And I actually use the brush they gave us even though she is, I can't even see her because she's so small and I don't feel like refocusing the camera. But I will just fill in my brows. Um, I don't really do a good job with this. Like I wouldn't consider myself like a brow expert. Like I couldn't work at the Benefit bar. And my brows also need some like serious like rehab right now but it's also i don't oh oh there's powder all over me i normally just like fill in this part to the tail and like leave this alone because that's like decent like i have decently thick eyebrows considering how light they are wait is one way higher than the other oh no we're gonna leave it and then i'll take that same brush and then just go a little brushy brushy huh? so for eyeshadow i forgot the brush too. no i didn't forget the brush I don't really like to wear eyeshadow because I'm lazy and don't feel like doing it But I will take some of the bronzer if I'm feeling bougie And I will just do a little bit through the crease Just a wee bit, just in definition Something I've been doing literally forever And then I will take some on the lower lash line Normally I like go way too hard And it looks like I haven't slept in a month Which honestly it feels like I haven't slept in a month So I used to be pretty and have eyelash extensions And now I don't and I'm back to being ugly Pull them all out I think I have like two or are those my real ones no those aren't real <laughs> so i have two eyelash extensions on this eye so i used to have like a lot of really full like long lashes and now i don't anymore just pinched my eyeball with this thing but now i'm tearing up i haven't curled my eyelashes in like months you know, this is the first time i've gotten ready in a really long time we are using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. No shocker here. I use this all the time. I should really find like a new good mascara because I feel like I'm tired of this one and it smells weird. But all mascaras smell like this. Is that doing anything for my lashes? Stay tuned. I have one eyelash that's like going horizontal. Girl, what are you doing? This mascara is actually all dried up because I haven't bought a new one since before I got eyelash extensions. And that was a while ago interesting okay now i'm just gonna do my bottom lashes whoa okay like where are my eyelashes they were so long so that was my everyday makeup routine for college it's definitely not something i do every day but i guess just makeup routine for college i hope that you guys liked this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you're excited for my other videos coming up i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.